Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your forward observer in your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. So today we are taking a look at Masters of the Universe Squeeze. Evil long-armed viper. Trap warriors in a slither hole. Let's get into this. So, hopefully, we're not running too close to the the end of the snake men because I want to get some more snake men. There, the the card art has shown some other versions that are pretty cool that are running around out there. Let me let's get this off right now. So. We got Squeeze, this is Wave 14. Love the fluorescent green kind of color to his body. You'll see it better when I get the lights back on. It's just the, the shiny plastic screws with everything. So I wanted to show you the package. Typical Snake Men package. And you got Rio Blast and Extendar trying to deal with Dumbass here with his long arms. So, but cool character, apparently he can tie up to three warriors at the same time, and then you can attach his pet snake to arm. There's the UPC, and then of course the other characters in the wave, Spike or Snake Man Infiltrator, Serpent Claw Man at Arms, <clears throat> and Man of the, Man of the Hour Squeeze. So, right now, I just did a video on Spike Order. If you want to check that out, go back in my uh, video library and you can find that. But I was in that video, I mentioned that the Snake Men Infiltrator and Serpent Claw Man at Arms, I had seen on Facebook a bunch of people getting them at Walmart. So, I decided that I was going to see if I could wait and get them there. If not, I'll get them at Big Bad Toy Store. But. So, I already opened this up to mess with him to see how he was, to point out anything that I could find that was screwy with him, but let's uh, go ahead and open him up and get this, get this show on the fucking road. So, you get the comic book, The Fading Fortress, with the current wave. Like I said, I pulled him out of the package to to play with him to see how his arms bent and so forth. And he's got this rubber band that holds him in there with his arms. Pull him out. He did have the little rubber bands holding him in too. So if you get one to save in the package, he'll stay in the package. He won't fling out. So here's his Apparently pet snake. Let's turn on this light. Okay, it's pet pet snake. It's a cool purple, like a hubba bubba bubble gum. Really liked that stuff when I was a kid. Sugar is shit, but nice nice uh nice detail. Not too bad. I haven't seen this before. I don't know if the original one had that, but I never had the original one. I just saw it when I was I was looking at Motu stuff on eBay, and it was like, you know what, I really want him. And then when I saw him show up, he had Mountain Dew green skin, and that that was really cool. I had him up sitting there next to my Mountain Dew cans, and he was rocking a, rocking a Dew with me. But, so, the, the, the lowdown on the arms is it does have a pivot, there so you can pivot slightly that way and then it turns of course each hand and then there is some kind of a wire that's in his arms that keep him keeps it somewhat positioned it's not really super thick wire but you can get some weird positions with his arms um what i noticed with this one at least on this arm is the arm since the arms are so heavy 
it, it tends to want to keep slipping down. Um, this one's not so bad. You can get that arm in positions without it falling down on that side. So I don't know if it's just a peg on that side or what. But the typical, um, what do you call it, origins, uh, what do you call it, articulation, sorry, brain fart. But uh, so the paint job's pretty good on this one. There was a little miss spot right there on the the boot, but not too bad. Doesn't look like any of the the body parts are from somebody else, except maybe maybe the underwear might be from somebody else. But it, nice, they did that mostly well on the the chest armor. They did a good job on this one at least with the snake eyes. They didn't fuck that up. His teeth kind of make make me think of dentures. It's too bad they didn't put little sharp teeth in there. But it's art, real articulated, so you can get some good get some good looks from Squeeze there. Sorry about the camera jumping, but we'll set him up. But overall, I, I, I really like him. I'm going to get another one of them so I can keep him in the package. Just because I, th I think he's a worthwhile to keep in the package figure. Um, see if I can snake this on, literally. So, yeah, fuck you. So, I'm Jason. This is War Journal Toys taking a look at Squeeze from the Snake Men group from Masters of the Universe origins figures if you like my content please like share subscribe and i'll see you on the next one